gosh, that Purdue study was very interesting. Has Trent done any other studies or tests on their spine fin? You know what? It amazes me the studies and testing that Train does on all of our equipment, not just spine fin. In fact, we have a facility down in North Carolina at Cure Beach where we have all of our outdoor equipment lined up, our heat pumps, condensers, and package units. And the reason we do this is because we want to see how not only just our spine fin coils hold up in this corrosive atmosphere, but to see how the whole piece of equipment holds up in this corrosive atmosphere. There was also a study done at the Civil Naval Engineering Facility in California where they took a copper plate fin coil and they took a spine fin coil and they fed the copper plate fin coil with dust and debris and they did the same thing with the spine fin coil. Over the course of time in this accelerated environment, the spine fin coil operated 32% more efficiently than the plate fin coil did. In fact, it takes three rows of plate fin to equal the same amount of heat transfer as one row of spine fin. Three times more efficient than a copper aluminum coil. Industry standards require that there's a thousand hour salt spray testing on outdoor coils. Train takes that thousand hours and doubles it because we want to see how we can improve and withstand these corrosive environments that our pieces of equipment are living in.